Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer, I'm from Germany and I'm a full stack web and app developer. I'm here today as I always had a foot in the IT area, but I was mainly on the business side. First, I was studying business with the focus on information systems. And after that, I decided to become a SAP and digitalization consultant to get deeper into the tech world. What I did was implementing software systems and apps where I could do the prototypes for and even test them. But I didn't develop myself. But the more I got in contact with my developer colleagues and the more I could see how they're working, I really liked it and I wanted to do that myself. That's why I decided to do the bootcamp. And what fascinates me about it is that you actually start with a blank page and in the end, in the end you created something amazing. Hi, my name is Guillaume. I'm a full stack web developer. I've worked in hospitality and management for the last 19 years. And some might think that this is quite far away from uh, programming and coding, but I've always had a passion for computer and it's always been a part of my life. Be it hardware or software, gaming, it's always something that stayed close to me. I am really excited today to uh, be able to have the new skills that I have after my bootcamp to be able to bring something into the world, something creative, some uh, project that people really can get their hands on. So this is why today we present you the Project Interactive Story. Hey there. So what is the project about? As we all know, plastic and its pollution is being a huge problem these days. Each day, 8 million pieces of plastic are going into the ocean. And if you continue like that, by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fishes. But by then, we either won't be here anymore or we will be pretty old. So this is why it's so important to teach the younger generations about the topic and the problems it's causing. But how to do that? Because for kids, it's probably a super abstract topic. This is why we came up with an interactive learning tool that is including chapters, lessons, quizzes, and also games to make it more fun for them. So let me introduce um, to you our single page application that is created with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React as a framework. So first, we're gonna be asked if we're ready to save the world. So yes, we're ready. After hitting the start button, the book is opening and the story is starting. So you already see like super nice pictures and some text that is fitting the pictures. So let's get started clicking next page. First thing we need to do is to choose a character that is going with us through the story. So we either have Leah or Timmy and we also put some things they like so the kids can choose based on that criteria so they can better identify with them. So if I choose Leah and it's saying, yay, you selected Leah, then Leah is popping up down here on the bottom of the screen and it's staying there for the rest of the story. When you click next page, the story is actually starting with the first chapter. So we're going with Leah and her friends through different spots. In the text, you can see that here you see Leah is feeling very happy. This is because we choose Leah. But if we had chosen Timmy, Timmy would be written here. So the text is based on the character choice as well. By going further through the story, they're being at the park where they're seeing like a lot of trash laying around. Um, as they go further through the story, they explore different spots. For example, at the beach where they're seeing the same issues. So there's a lot of plastic bottle being in the ocean and fishes are swimming in there. So the first thing they need to do is to actually play a game to keep the ocean clean and to collect the plastic bottles out of it. So if I hit start, plastic bottles are popping up and when you cut them, they turn into red and you're collecting points. After doing that, we are introducing Bastian the fish, which is the companion for the rest of the story because I thought it's super important to also give a different perspective on kids um, as when he explains that why it is so harmful for him to eat the microplastics. 
to not only give them a story, but also some lessons about what is plastic in general. Um, we put a few informations and even a video, so it's relatable to the real world as well. After the lesson, there is a quiz coming up. They have four options to choose, and if you hit the right button, it's turning green. You scored one point, and there's an explanation why this answer is correct. If you hit the wrong button, you didn't score any point, but the explanation is still there. As you can see, there's no next page button. So we need to finish the quiz in order to get to the next chapter. I'm just going to collect a few more points for us. And now, as you can see, the quiz is over. Well done. I can go to the next page. And the cool thing now that we earlier introduced Bastian the fish, now we want them to join us for the rest of the story. So we hit, let me join you. Bastian is popping up here. And when we hover above him, he's actually swimming. So now my time for playing this is up. So I have to leave and Guillaume has taken over. Hey, welcome back to the adventure. As you can see, I'm on the start screen, but for me, it's not a new session. I was already playing uh, and learning a bit earlier and, you know, I had to take a break. I had to do other things like the kids that will play our application. We don't think that they should or need to sit through the whole adventure in one go. And that's why we implemented a local save uh, with local storage. So that way, when they're ready to jump back, all their information and where they were is saved for them. Also, you can see in the URL, it's a single page application. We do not want our user to be able to jump forward and backward through the use of routers and addresses in the URL. We really want them to experience the whole story from the beginning to the end. So let's jump back. As you can see, I've chosen Timmy. I have Bastion unlocked. I'm on chapter three. And the text is not, is adapted to me. It's not Leia's story now. It's, it's Timmy's story for me. So let's go through the story. After this, there is uh, a lesson, some information, which we always follow with a quiz to reinforce the learning. And then let's continue the story. Now they are near a park. They, they want to go help the community. They want to make their grandma happy and clean the park near where she lives because she's really sad of the situation with all the plastic in the park and in the river of the park. So the kids now, they are knowledgeable about what to do. They know they can take action and they know they can participate. This is why uh, we coded a game. This game is based on a, on a Frogger uh, game, but it's still been made from scratch, from React, uh, in React, also with a JavaScript. Uh, but the game loop and also the game logic is quite different from a typical Frogger. We still have like the movement where we can move across river with the lily pad. But our goal here is to pick up the trash in the park and bring them back to the to the, um, the recycling bin. Let's try to, to make it correctly. And as you can see, I cannot pick up a second trash because I'm only a kid. I have small ends. So let's put one in the bin. And yeah, let's let's try and clean the park as good as we go. Of course, the, the trash has been put a little bit closer on purpose for this demo. But now we managed to somewhat clean the park. We still did a good job. So now the kid can move on with their adventure. They need to clean a bit the river, uh, but they're doing a good job. They're, they're having a lot of teamwork. And in the end, everybody's happy and they can make their grandma happy. And they will be there, they will be there for her at the end. This is not fully the end. We have some annexes with information and some ways to crystallize the, the, the knowledge that they learned throughout the story. So for example, here we're asking the kids, what is better to use? Is it a single reusable bottle, a not reusable bottle or a reusable bottle? Of course, maybe for us, the, it's evident, but yeah, you gotta learn somewhere. So do you want glass or do you want tr throwable content? Of course, uh, we, we're trying to make the good decision. Here's for orange juice. Oh, I, I didn't choose correctly, but at least the information is showing up. What about straws? So I have a metal straw here and plastic straw here. Hmm. I think metal straw is good. And what about an apple? Should, should we wrap an apple? Or should we not wrap an apple? Of course, it has already uh, a protection by itself. So it's pretty good. 
Well done. We can now move to the next page. Uh, one last lesson, a nice little music video for the kids. Uh, to learn uh, and to finish in, uh, in music. And after this, the adventure is done. So uh, all the congratulations to them who went through it. And of course, they're encouraged to restart the adventure. Maybe next time I'll try with Leah. So let's restart. And yeah, so maybe next time we, we can decide together which uh, character we take. So I hope you enjoyed our presentation.